Happy Monday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. I pray that you had a great weekend and ready to start a new week and get out here and found some work from home job leads. Today, I am giving you a six part-time work from home job leads. A lot of people have been asking about part-time jobs, so here you go. Make sure you watch the video all the way through because I have valuable information that I'm gonna share with you today. And also let me know in the comment section which job that you can apply for, one all the way to six, plus these companies, will train you. They reached out to me and they informed me that they would train you regardless if you have experience or not. So watch the video all the way through. You know, I get excited every time when I share my screen because, you know, I want everybody to get a job for those who want to intake or partake. So go out here, have your resume right, and let's go ahead and dive right into the first job. Now, again, I am talking about part-time work from home job leads, and these companies, they will train you regardless if you have experience or not. The first job is with Everyday Health. They're currently seeking part-time customer care specialists, okay, to work from home. Even though it says this state, as long as you're in the 50 states, according to hiring manager, you are able to apply for this job, okay? So when we go in a little bit deeper, the salary is between $18 and $22 an hour, okay? Now, you're going to interact with customers via email. So this is an email job. This is not a um, where you're on the phone. You're going to be dealing with customers uh, via email ticket system, Zendesk. I'm going to show you a free place where you can learn Zendesk for free. You're going to also work closely with other customer care teams members to resolve customer issues and questions. And then after 30 hours of 20 training period, you're expected to send at least 10 emails per hour. And then when you go down a little bit further, they want, they're looking for someone who's tech savvy, comfortable using mobile phones and mobile application, excellent written English, available work at least three, four hour shifts per week, including two weekends, days, Saturday or Sunday per month, available for a weekly team member, I'm sorry, weekly team meeting, typically held virtual on Tuesday mornings in Eastern Standard Time and able to complete 30 hours of training in the first 10 days of employment. If this sounds like something that you're able to do, then all you need to do is click right here where it says apply. This is job number one, so let me know. Now we're down to job number two. It is with the company Lark. They're currently seeking data processor to work from home. This is a temporary position as well as a part-time position. When I scroll down, I am looking to see what the salary is. The salary is between $16 to $23 an hour. And again, they want you to work part-time in limit term position, averaging up to 20 hours per week. Now, basically what you're going to do is you're going to be doing data extract and transformation, extract data from various source and transform it into usable formats, ensuring data integrity and completeness. You're going to also do quality assurance, conduct quality assurance checks to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the data, identify, investigate, resolve, or escalate as needed. Now they're looking for someone to have proficient in dashboarding tools. Watch the video all the way through because I'm going to show you a free place where you can learn it for free. Experience with spreadsheet and presentation software, preferable Google Sheets. Google Slides and Microsoft Excel. Remember, go to Microsoft 365 Training where you can learn it for free. Strong communication and collaboration skills with the ability to effectively engage with stakeholders at all levels. So it uh, may be a little foam, um, but most of the time it is in person uh, where they come to. Uh, it's not in person because this is a remote position, um, but it's in person if they are hiring right now for also remote jobs and people um, to go in office, but this will not apply to you according to hiring manager, okay? And improving experience in data process and problem solving skills, okay? So if this sounds like something that you're able to do, you're going to scroll down. This is considered a quick hire application. You want to fill out everything to the best of your ability, and then you hit apply. This is opportunity number two, Okay. Now we're down to opportunity number three. Again, this is a part-time position. A lot of people been looking for part-time and here you go. It is with the company row. They're currently seeking client support specialists, part-time weekends only remote to work from home. Even though it says this state, yes, you have to be living in this state. When we scroll down, you have to be living in these states in order to be eligible to apply for this position, according to hiring manager. But they ask you, even if you don't live in the state, still go ahead and apply because you never know they can start hiring 
um, in your state uh, pretty soon, okay? So again, this is a part-time required working during peak client support hours, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time and every weekend. Now, when we go down, we're looking for the salary for this position. The salary is between $23 to $28 an hour. Um, that's if you don't live in these states here. But according to hiring manager, this applies 20, you're going to be making $23 to $28, $23 to $28 an hour. Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper, you're going to be one of the point of contacts for customers' inquiries coming through their online support channels, email, live chat, 1-833-ROLL-VET. Um, again, this is a chat job. You're going to be troubleshooting and resolving any first-line issues raised by their hospital vet tech user, providing accurate, completing, and supported response as well as you're going to maintain HubSpot to be sure all clients' communication and CS tickets are documented, okay? So what they want you to bring to the table is two-plus years experience in online client, customer support ideal in an early-stage startup environment, excellent communication and organization skills, flexible and agile ability to pivot quickly, and excited to join an ever-growing team of professional, diverse individual. So if this sounds like something that you're able to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply for this job. This is opportunity number three, okay? Now we're down to opportunity number four is with TELUS International. They're seeking geo data evaluator, United States to work from home. This is a freelance position, so you'll be at 1099. You can work when you wanna work. And when we look at the salary here, we're looking, it is $11 an hour. So what you'll be doing, you will be completing research and evaluating tasks in a well-based environment, verifying and comparing data, categorizing photos and videos, and determine the relevance and accuracy of information provided. Another aspect of this role would involve collecting and verifying points of interest by providing accurate and up-to-date data based on local insight to support optimized map performance. Now, what they're looking for is you must be fluent in both written and verbal English. You must be living in the United States for at least three years, have the ability to interpret and follow established guidelines to execute each task and record information accurately, ability to make phone calls, including as mystery shopping, using a personal phone and, and a call center software to collect relevant and detailed information regarding business. Good business phone equity is vital headset or headphone with a microphone. Also ability to complete research online using search engine online maps and website information. And you must have familiar with current historical business, media, sports, news, social media, culture affairs in the United States. Applicant must be 18 years or older. Now, if this sounds like something that you're able to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply now. This is opportunity number four, okay? Now we're down to opportunity number five. It is with the same company, but different job title. It's with TELUS International. They're, they're seeking raiders to work from home. You have to be in the United States. And when you scroll down, the salary is between $12 and $15 an hour. It is part-time. They want you to work up to 25 hours per week. And when we dive in a little bit deeper, um, they're, they're searching for individuals who has a passionate about social media and regular uses of Gmail. This remote position requires ownership and daily use of a smartphone and familiar with various social media platforms and Google products. Your reliability, adaptability, and adherence to guidelines are key. This role offers the freedom to work remotely, allowing you to set your hours based on task availability. Again, the pay is between $12 and $15 an hour. They want you to work at least 10 hours per week. And the requirement is proficient in both written and verbal English. You have to be living in the United States for three years. You, mu you must have a Gmail as your primary email account, familiar with current historical business, media, sports, news, social media, and cultural affairs, and understand various of social media environment, including mimics and trends. So if this sounds like something that you're able to do, then make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here where it says apply now. This is opportunity number five, okay? Now we're down to opportunity number six. It is with the company Recurrent. They're currently seeking customer support specialists to work from home. Even though it says Thursday, March the 7th, 2024, it is still current. You know that I always reach out to hiring managers on all these jobs before I get out here and talk about them, okay? 
I do my part because I want to make sure that these jobs are legitimate before I post them on any platform. And when I'm scrolling, I'm looking for the salary. The salary is not listed. So I take up on myself to just research when I'm uncertain. So I go into Google and kind of research, put in the information, what is the salary of a customer support specialist at Recurrent? And then I just scroll down and just to kind of get an idea. I just keep scrolling. And the salary I came up with is 50000 six per year. That's around $24 an hour. Remember, you can always, always negotiate your salary at all times necessary. They're seeking a 12-month temporary part-time customer support specialist to join their customer support team at Recurrent. Okay. So you'll work across their portfolio brands. These are the brands you'll be working for. You're going to be the first point of contact for the brands. Um, and then you must have your time will be spent on Zine Desk. Okay, Zine Te Desk is a chat. Um, you, it's mainly chat, according to our manager, where you will address open tickets, 200 a week with additional phone support, maybe a little bit of phone as needed in response to customer voicemail. Okay, and then you're going to also document common customer support issues that arise so that the product teams can prioritize fixes. To better serve their customer, you'll be using Google Docs Sheets to track common issues so that fixes can be prioritized for their engineering team. They're also heavily used Slack to surface major customers' pain points to the broader team. Now, they want you to have experience with Zine Desk. Watch the video all the way through. I'm going to show you a free place where you can learn it. Experience with Stripe and payment software is not required, but it's preferred. A strong desire to create a quick and delightful experience for their customers. And then the benefits is you get medical dental vision, life insurance, fitness reimbursement, remote work from anywhere, match a 401k. If this sounds like something that you're able to do, then all you need to do is click right here where it says apply now. OK, so, you know, that in the job rec, you saw some words that I kept saying Zine Desk. If you don't understand something, you just copy and paste that into Google and add video at the end of it. And as you can see, if there's going to be some videos that's going to walk you through how Zendex work. OK, so that's what is a lot of people doing. They don't understand something. They're using Google as a friend, copying, pasting that word and adding video at the end of it. And you see how all these videos appear. OK, the same thing about dashboarding tools. You saw that in one of the job recs that I was talking about earlier. I just add copy and paste dashboard tools and add video at the end of it. Here is 12 dashboards design tips. People are talking about it. OK, so all I need to do is watch this video, educate myself in order for me to get to the next level. So that's all you have to do. Everybody is doing this every single day. And that's how you need to do is to get to the next level. OK, now in my videos, I want to start sharing a scripture with you uh, for those who want it. I meditated on day and night. This is the scriptures that I read, especially when I am looking for a work from home job or want that extra money. You know, this is what I read every single day. And it comes from Philippians 4, 6 and 7. I'm reading from the New King, King James Version. You read from the version that you understand. OK, I understand NKJV. OK, so I got this information on Bible Gateway. So Philippians 4 and 6 and 7, again, it is New King James Version. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guide your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. OK, I want to share that to you, you know, because a lot of people are anxious about getting a work from home job lead, but it's telling you be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Okay. In this video today, I gave you six part-time work from home job leads. Plus these companies will train you regardless if you have experience or not. So let me know in the comment section which job that you're interested in applying for. And if this video has been helpful, you know what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as I want you to comment. I love interacting with you, y'all. You're more to me than just a number. You're my YouTube family. 
And I just want to build that friendship relationship with you. Also subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search and everyday life. And if you want to be part of that ride, you have to subscribe to the channel as well as share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day. And I just want to leave that encouragement words with you is like that scripture that we just read is don't be anxious of anything. A lot of times we get anxious because we want a job right then and there. And like there's a saying that he God, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. You have to tell God what you want. If you want a job, you can't just say any job. God, I want a job making a um, hundred thousand a year. I want a job making 200000 a year. You have to tell them what you want. And God answered in three ways, I believe. It's yes, no, and wait. You have to do your part. It's get out here every single day, like I always say, and apply for these jobs. Not just apply for one and say, oh, it's not working. It's not legit. You have to apply for multiple, multiple positions each and every single day, even though if it seems like it's not working, because it is working, that job is going to come when you least suspect it. And remember that God, he will provide for you. I remember, like I always say, I've been through the storms of life and I go through it. Okay. There's times in my life in the past where I didn't know how my next meal going to come because I had lost my job. Even being married, my husband had lost his job and I had lost mine years ago. And we didn't know what was going to happen. We prayed and we took action. We went out and tried to find jobs and we did. Some things that we took, you know, like when I said, when we had to work, sometimes you have to work at a grocery store until you found what you're seeking. Because I'd rather work in a grocery store than be homeless and lose things. And then once you find what you're seeking, then you can go ahead and, um, you know, do what you need to do. Because unemployment, even though you file for unemployment, when I got fired at that time, they had to get permission from uh, my past employee. And they said no. And they said no. I couldn't get my unemployment. This was years ago, y'all. So you always have to have plan A all the way to Z just in case because, you know, people get happy when you lose your job. Some people are praying. When I say praying, some people are P-R-E-Y-I-N-G hoping that you lose your house, lose your car, lose things. So you got to be per careful and proudful who you ask to pray for you because everybody's not P-R-A-Y-I-N-G for you. You know, people want to see you struggle. Some people get a kick and laugh about when you're going through things, you can't find a job and they do that. But you got to understand you reap what you sow, what goes around comes around. When it comes to you, you're not going to like it and it's not going to be funny. See, I can't, you know, when I look at other people, what they're going through, it's not funny to me because I'm like, I don't want to go through that. I've been through that. I know what it's like that when you trying to find a job, people look at you like you're not trying and really you are trying every single day, but they like, you got to try harder. And it's people that know at their company that they're hiring and they're looking for people and they won't even tell you that they're hiring. Okay. People will not help you out. You know, if I know somebody's hiring in my company, I'm going to say, Hey, this job is hiring, go apply for it. See what happened. That's just me. But a lot of people know, that they're hiring at their company and they will not help you and they're not going to get that far in life being selfish because that is very selfish when you know something and you won't help people. It's a different if you told somebody and they didn't take action, but you do your part is help people for those who want to be helped because a lot of people don't want to be helped. A lot of people you cannot help, but I don't want you to quit. I don't want you to throw in the towel because you are too close to the finish line. You're almost there. You just cannot see. You know, it's just like when it rains really bad, you cannot even see what's in front of you. But when it stopped raining, you can see. So you got to get out there and keep pushing. Pushing means praying to something happen. Never, ever give up. Don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. You have to speak life over yourself because the power of the tongue determines life and death. If you say you can't find a job, eventually it's going to come to fruition where you cannot find a job. Speak life over yourself, even though it may not look good. Say, hey, I know God is in, in a miracle business. He is working something out for my good. But all he asks for me is to trust him. And when you did everything you can, you got to let go and let God. OK, and just take your hand out of it, you know, and pray and just move on and know that God will provide for you according to his riches and glory, because he says it in his word. OK, so again, I want you to have a happy Monday. 
I want you to keep applying for jobs every single day. Don't listen to naysayers. When you end up listening to naysayers, you end up nowhere. Keep pushing. Never, ever give up. Don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. I believe in you, but you got to believe in yourself. Many blessings to each and every one of you. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.